after a fire breaks out how do you save yourself, these survival skills must be remembered carefully as they can truly help you survive in an emergency. First no matter where the fire occurs you must remain calm and not panic, blindly running away or jumping off a building are foolish and dangerous actions. When facing a fire the greatest danger is not the flames but the thick smoke, carbon monoxide in thick smoke combines with hemoglobin in human blood 200 to 300 times faster than oxygen. It will replace the oxygen molecules in the blood, causing the body to lose consciousness immediately due to oxygen deprivation. Additionally, the decorative materials used in modern buildings emit a large amount of toxic gas when burned, which can easily lead to suffocation and death. If a fire occurs at your home but the flames have not blocked the escape route, do not take any belongings from the house. Immediately lower your head, bend over and quickly run outside. Before leaving, remember to close the room door to prevent smoke from spreading. If the fire has blocked the way out, immediately return to a smoke-free room and quickly close the door. Use clothes to seal the gaps and wave a bright-colored object out the window to call for help from rescuers and neighbors. Secondly, if you are in a high-rise building before escaping, you must touch the doorknob. If the doorknob is cool, you can open the door and leave, but when opening the door, remember not to open it too forcefully or suddenly to avoid the risk of a localized explosion. If the doorknob is hot or thick smoke is pouring into the room it indicates that the outside is full of fire and high temperature smoke. At this point do not open the main door, use a wet towel to seal the door gap to moisten and cool the room door, then wait for rescue. Thirdly, if the fire occurs on the upper floor, this situation is relatively less dangerous, and you can calmly move down to the lower floors, but absolutely do not use the elevator. Elevators are highly prone to getting stuck during power outages, and smoke can easily create a chimney effect, causing suffocation due to dense smoke. In a fire, escaping isn't always the only option, because dense smoke is actually a sign of oxygen depletion. This has been documented in catastrophic fire incidents. Many people don't die from being burned by the fire but from blindly running outside only to suffocate. In some cases, their rooms don't even show signs of scorching. Most people in a state of panic won't choose to stay in their rooms and wait for rescue. But in reality, this is the option with the highest survival rate during a fire. Finally, make sure to share this video with your family so everyone knows how to protect themselves in dangerous situations.